Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be looking at this HP laptop, HP 15-DW3423NO. This laptop is uh, known to have a bad charging port after some water damage. We're going to be going through the whole computer to make sure that there's no other types of water damage as well but it's known to have a bad, wait, upside side, a bad charging port. So we'll see if we could do anything with it. So we're gonna start off by getting the charger, plugging it in to see what happens, just to see if it charges or not. So we could see here if it gets, there does not appear to be, oh, never mind. there is the light there, oh, yeah, this port is not good. So there's definitely something fishy going on here. Let's inspect the port to see how it looks. On the outside here, I don't see anything. So we will have to take a look at it internally to be sure what's going on. So yeah, let's open it. To open this computer, I'm gonna be using my trusty old iFixit kit. Yes, because iFixit is such a great company to produce screwdrivers and such. Gotta turn it over and we have four screws here. There's a little damage here actually. It's just like, like this might have been opened. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna open it and see what we find. Start off with this visible screws. There's definitely screws under this thing. Oh yeah, this has definitely been opened. That just broken off. And the glue is not sticking like almost at all. So we got one more screw here on the bottom part. We probably have some in the top as well. Get this thing out. Yeah, four more screws. This glue was way better, but I do think I have to replace it somehow. If I'm able to fully do this repair. Right, all screws are out. We're gonna flip it over and gonna use the blue tool to kind of just get under here somewhere. Yeah, in the middle. Right, there we go. We could see right here that it has definitely been through some sort of water damage. This is not looking good. Not at all. You can see all the way here, it's this especially. This is worrying. That's probably from the heatsink. Seems to be that type of location. You could see it here and uh, along the whole heatsink all the way actually you can see right here on the rest of the heatsink as well but other than that it doesn't seem to be anything visible as you can see this is also quite a new laptop because it's uh, a 2020 this battery was made in december 2021 so it's under a year old well to get into the charging port it's over here so we're gonna take out the battery first with these four screws and then we're gonna move on to taking out these two screws to get the hinge off so we can get to the charging ports. Let's do that. Just like so. That's the battery in itself. This is less than my phone. It says 3440 milliamps. That's not a lot for this big ass battery. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Keep going with the repair. 
Hopefully those are the only screws I need to take out because the less I have to do, the better. It's gonna be trying to lift it up just like so. Gotta get the antenna on the outside over here. Nice. So you can see that the charging port has its cable going all the way here, around an edge of here. We're gonna take that out. Alright, so there we go, got the port out. Now it's the time to take a little look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna open it up and see if I could find anything further into this. Yeah. I'm gonna be trying to open this up and I'm gonna do it out off camera. So I'll see you if I find something. All right, I've opened it up and I've not been able to find any problems within it. So it might be just defective overall. So I'm gonna search up a couple of these numbers and such that are written on here to see if I could find a new one of these. So I'm gonna slap that in the computer before I do anything else. So uh, this will be a longer project to just wait on this new charging port, but it's the best when I'm gonna sell it. It's way better to do that. Let's do that. I'm just gonna search, uh, start off by going on AliExpress, uh, cause you find basically any tech thing you want on AliExpress. I found AliExpress to be quite reliable actually. Uh, starting off by searching HB. Okay, so we do get uh, on the first search here. You could see that we have a lot of different options. Uh, however, I need to find out exactly which one it is. So I'm sure the second one does actually look quite similar. The thing that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, checking out to be really nice is like the, the length of the cable has to be right and um, the actual colors of the connections here these have to be the correct ones as it's gonna be connected correctly into this and it also has to be the correct wattage. Uh, this is rated for 90 watts uh, so I'm gonna be finding one that is 90 watts. So I'm just gonna look through these. There is a lot here. All right, I think I found it right here. This one right here. I'm gonna purchase it and uh, we'll see how good it is. It's $4.41. Uh, that's not a whole lot. So if this will fix the charging problem, then uh, I'll be truly, truly happy. Cause this, this laptop, it's, it's worth, it's worth <laughs> a couple hundred dollars. So I think it was sold for like 700 and because of the charging problem, I. I bought it. Uh, I think that's the one I'm gonna go with and uh, we'll see uh, how it is when we get here. We'll see when it's here or I have any sort of updates. I am however uh, unsure on how long it will take before I get it back to this project. So tactically I'm gonna get all of these screws, put them in bags, small individual ones. Alright we got our cable. Let's. Now install it into the laptop. I've been waiting for this for such a long time. Uh, I totally didn't mispurchase cable. This shouldn't be too difficult, I think. It's gonna go here, uh, somewhere in here at least. And then uh, the cable is gonna go like uh, this, this, wham, bam, skadoodle, ding, or shumble. They fucking get in there, nice. Yeah, it's, it's perfect in there. Absolutely perfect. All right, nice. There we go. I think the, uh, the charging cable could go over this. Now we just have to find the correct screws for the different things. I have it. All right, then this is a no brainer. Perfect, yay. That cable fit like so, fantastic. Computer parts and stuff that you just kind of remember it. <laughs> that, oh shit, I can't do it like this. I haven't fucked up that many computers. 
uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's the RAM. They gave me then a couple sticks of RAM. I said, okay. Uh, now I want to check it out if the charging port is working. Let's stop. Right. Moment of truth. Oh, it's a blink. As long as it's actually taking charge. Looks like it's holding charge. Which is good. Yay! Looks like it did something. I do have to let that further down. It's taking charge. Fantastic. Nice. As you can see, in here, the screw is behind the actual part here. So, well, time for disassembly. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The computer is now officially been fixed. It's up and working, see some life in the future, instead of just sitting in uh, some people's hands doing nothing. Because, you know, it's better to get it out on the market than uh, having some e-waste, right? Yeah, we did manage to repair this computer and uh, I'm really happy. I can now get rid of it. It's been sitting closer right here under the Ryzen processors, collecting dust. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in a different project or whatever. Have fun drinking uh, Coca-Cola.